Hi, it's Craig with Prolike here. And we had a viewer on our YouTube channel request that I test Gore-Tex Pro Shell and Gore-Tex Active Shell against Event and Neo Shell. So we're going to do that in this video. In front of me here, I have four jackets. I have a MIE K Pro GTX with Gore-Tex Pro Shell. I have a MIE Trilogy Limited GTX with Gore-Tex Active Shell. I have a Rab Super Drew with Event. And finally, I have a Westcomb Switch LT hoodie with PolarTech Neo Shell. And I should point out that I personally own each one of these jackets. These are actually my jackets in front of us here. And I have over two years minimum experience with each one of these. So in addition to showing you the differences in air permeability, I can talk about the specific performance differences in each one of these. So I'll point out that both the Gore-Tex jackets, the Pro Shell and the Active Shell jackets, have large pit zips, and that's because they need to have large pit zips. They are not nearly as air permeable as the Event and the Neo Shell jackets are. Um, I'm not saying I wouldn't ever wear these Gore-Tex jackets. I, I have used this uh, Gore-Tex Pro Shell jacket when ice climbing, when it's cold and it's kind of wet out and I just really want maximum protection because I had the jacket available. Um, and I've used this active shell jacket a couple times when I'm skiing and conditions aren't as extreme. My go-to jacket when skiing is a soft shell jacket. It's the Patagonia soft shell hanging on the wall behind me. It's a welded seam construction jacket. It's really, really durable and full featured and gives me more than adequate wind and rain protection, especially in cold conditions. So if I was to be climbing a mountain or something like I plan to do again this year. I've taken this event jacket on a couple mountaineering trips, but this year I'll probably go with one of the hard face soft shell solutions like the Patagonia knife blade on the wall behind me that uses a PowerShield Pro solution in it. Very wind resistant, very water resistant, and more breathable than all of these hard shells in front of me. I think what you're going to find is as consumers continue to get more information on the hard shell versus soft shell debate, you're going to see them increasingly selecting to use soft shells over hard shells. They're just absolutely more breathable or air permeable and with the advances in DWR and with things like PowerShield Pro, they provide more than adequate wind and, and water protection. So we'll take you through each one of these uh, tests side by side. I've laid them out in what I assume are going to be least air permeable or least breathable to most air permeable, but uh, I'll record all the tests and I'll share with you my experiences with each one of these. Okay, I've got the Gore-Tex Pro Shell hooked up to the air permeability test on this side, it's the red jacket, and I've got Gore-Tex Active Shell, which is the black jacket, hooked up onto this side. And as you can see, there is absolutely no air movement through these materials under the pressure that our air pump can put out. Uh, so you know, we've done this test enough times in the store for customers just to demonstrate the differences in air permeability between the various fabrics that you know this is exactly what I expected. So let's move on and test uh, Neo Shell versus Event just to get a comparison between those two. Okay, so now I've changed out the jackets that are hooked up to the air permeability tester, and this time I have the Event on this side, which is the blue jacket, against the Neo Shell jacket, which is the yellow jacket on this side. And both of them are easily moving air through the fabric. Uh, it's a little less obvious because they're both doing a, a pretty good job at it, but if you look closely, you can see that the Neo Shell jacket is allowing more air to move through the, the fabric. Alright, so what does this prove? Well, in and of itself, it just demonstrates air permeability through these various jackets. Um, so the argument comes down to, is it a valid test or a meaningful test? Well, that's really up to you to decide. Um, in my opinion, air permeability is meaningful. Uh, you know, there have been other ways to try and test breathability, which we really don't like to use the term breathability, but that's the term that the industry commonly uses. You know, there's the test where you place a hot saucer of water underneath the jacket and watch the steam migrate through it. Um, 
really this comes down to putting each one of these jackets on, uh, usually over a base layer and a mid layer, or sometimes just a base layer, and running up the side of the mountain and just see which one performs better for you. Which one moves your body moisture and humidity away from your body through the fabric and out to the environment. And since I do own each one of these, I can absolutely testify the fact that Even and NeoShell perform far better than these two. And that's why if I'm doing something like that in these jackets, I have to have the pit zips open. Once again, I would say that I think advances in soft shell technology are making all of these hard shells obsolete. Um, really, personally for me, about the only time I'm going to select a hard shell is if I'm in a really, really, really wet environment um, and I don't get many of those environments in Montana, even when I go on our five-day river trips and it rains every night, I still am adequately protected with a soft shell. Uh, the only time I may select a hard shell is if I'm really, really trying to get to the minimal weight possible. And that's where I might use something like an Outdoor Research Helium 2 jacket, which comes in about half the weight of you know, a lightweight soft shell jacket. It's a really minimalist piece, it's very lightweight, but I'm sacrificing breathability or air permeability by going that route. So thank you for the, the request on our YouTube channel to do this video. And if you have any questions on this, please feel free to contact us. Our phone number is area code 406-582-0508 or send us an email to info at prolightgear.com. Thanks for watching.